Hey guys, um, today we're going to be seeing how to work with the GitHub and how to put GitHub to work with your Xcode so you can do your source control from inside Xcode. Um, we're going to be seeing how to put your new projects, also how to put your old projects that you already started. Um, and also we're going to be seeing if you're interested in some project that you're seeing in GitHub, how you can be forking it and downloading to your computer directly from GitHub without having to download it from, to your computer and then starting and uploading to get back to GitHub. So if you have an account, you can just sign up, uh, sign in here. If you don't, you can just sign up in GitHub and Let's get started. So I already have my account. I will sign in here. Um, so um, I want to Swift next step. And um, my password should be right. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is to um, we're going to up uh, the process to upload a new project or existing project is pretty much the same actually what we're gonna do if we're gonna create a new upload a new project we actually gonna create it first and then upload it so it will be the same process uh, so and that's what we're gonna do first so what we're gonna do uh, here in github we're gonna click this button new repository and we're gonna create a new repository and uh, we're gonna give the name of um, hello github then we're gonna set to public uh, that's the free it means that everybody can see it but also means that we're not gonna have to pay anything now uh, if you wanna set private then you have to upgrade your account um, we are gonna leave all this as it is if you change it you're gonna have a little bit more complication to do so just leave as it is and that will make much simpler for us and then we're gonna hit create repository and here in github we're gonna have this url for us and uh github create this has this button again uh, capture Clipper, then we're gonna click this and it says copy it, uh, and that's all we have to do in GitHub. Now we're gonna go to Xcode, and um, in Xcode, we if you have this uh, welcome screen, uh, you can go here and click in. Oh, sorry, um, we're gonna go and create a new Xcode project. Now we're gonna create a single view and we're gonna call hello github. Uh, this project won't do anything, it's just to test it. So uh, we're gonna create a github repository on Mac. If you don't see this option here or if this is grayed out, you're gonna go here on preference. Uh, and you're gonna go on the source control option and you're gonna enable source control. Once you enable source control, it should be able to select it and then you select it and create. Okay, cool. So now we have our code here. And what we're gonna do is go to source. Um, and we're gonna go here on the hello github master and configure hello github and you're gonna go to the remote step okay so if we click the plus sign and add remote uh, let's add a remote name here um, use uh, very descriptive names because uh, you can accumulate quite a few names and um, it can be, it can get very confused. So I normally go for the server name, uh, GitHub, because it, it can accumulate quite a few. Um, and you can start use with different servers like GitHub, 
big bucket like we're gonna see and then I put a dot and then the project name um, in this case hello oops hello GitHub. Then let's pay that paste that URL and add a remote and it's there. Now we have a code here and if we go to source and if we try to commit this because uh, as um, the very first I'll minimize these windows um, the very first time um, there is nothing to be committed so let's make some change here um, let's um, delete some of this um, comments and the app data there you go uh, let's save that and let's go source commit Um, and there you go. Um, we can see that showing um, that the code was um, the comments were uh, removed, and we can put a comment remove comment. That's good. Commit. Now we can go and source and push and then we'll this drop down uh, we'll give you the options for the where we want to push if we have different place to push we just have one configuration so let's push and that's gonna push to bitbucket uh, it's gonna ask us the username uh, swift next step and the password and I hit OK and it's pushing the data and say push successfully and if we go ahead and look into GitHub and refresh this now I see that um, our project is there so now if somebody come here and um, do some change and uh, we're going to do some change directly here on um, I know that um, nobody would be doing but um, let's uh, pretend and that somebody did somebody very smart was able to fix the problem right here on github and commit change now our file on here is different from the files on the cloud so we have to pull that information down to our computer so we can uh, refresh the status and then pull Now um, it's gonna get the remote and we're gonna go pull and it's fetching data and pull successfully and if we go to view controller there you go the comments get removed so if was the whole process somebody edit on their computer sent to the cloud on github and we download it on our computer and the change get to our to to our source um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look for tick tac toy uh, swift um,
and uh, I'll take this one and then uh, what you can do is you hit fork and if you're hitting fork what's gonna happen is um, GitHub's gonna make a copy of this repository into your repository if you look here now uh, so this before was inside the repository of the Mimandia and now it's inside our repository as well so we have our own copy and if you look on uh, the address uh, see it's inside Swift next step so if we copy this and if uh, we start uh, Xcode and um, if we go to source control and check out so we can again go to check out to here or if I start source control uh, Swift uh, Xcode again we can go on check out an existing project from here and you can go and uh, paste that here on the bottom or say enter repository location and hit next and that's gonna start download the project from github and then you just select a place to put it we're gonna put it on the desktop and then you just hit download and that's copy here on the desktop and there you go so download the project um, now if I wait put this for iPhone 4s uh, I think this project has actually some bugs but they're pretty easy to fix let's build there we go um, so there is a problem here where there uh, if you look player uh, player is an enum and there's user one and user two uh, but here she's trying to use compare with user player that doesn't exist let's compare with um, user one um, and that should solve the problem there's some warnings but we're not going to worry about that So there you go, now um, the game is working, we can go user1, user2, um, next, and then you one yay! So excellent, everything works, um, just a few more things I want to show you now that I fixed. I can go source control commit and then I can just um, put here so that's the change I can reveal so I put here fix bug for user commit and now I can push and then if I push then I'm gonna enter my username Swift next step password cool so it pushed the code and what I want to show you is if I go to my branch the code is updated um, for me uh, 
And that's on the view controller. So there you go, that was, uh, remember before it was user play, player and user one. Uh, let's go uh, back to her page. Temp tree, view controller. And you're gonna go user one still the same so now what we can do is from our code if we want to and we can suggest the change for her using pull request and then we can tell her what's the problem and suggest uh, that we can um, that we fix it and um, explain the problem and then she can accept it or not and incorporate the change on her um, software if she wants to or um, so then um, yes so we can collaborate uh, and but I, 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 again the owner of the branch is the last one that's gonna des decide if they're gonna use it or not so uh, last thing I want to show you is about Xcode again. If you go to preferences and if you go to accounts, you can see that all the repositories get created here. And uh, this list, um, this list after a while, it can get very long. And then, uh, um, so if you're not going to use it, uh, tic -tac, tic tac toe anymore, you finished. Uh, of course, let's go here and say. I finish with this. Uh, let me close this first, and um, I finish with this project, and I will close it. And I'll go preferences, and I finish with this project. I can um, close, and I can keep the password, or I can delete, and I will remove the password because I don't need it anymore. And I finish with uh, hello GitHub and I will remove it as well and I'll remove the password because I don't, don't need it anymore and so on. So um, it is up to you if you want to keep or if you want to uh, remove that um, um, account as well. The If you look on the on here, uh, this um, will still here because inside this folder exists a uh, .svn file that's invisible and it's just gonna get removed once you remove the file. So if I put this on the trash and of course Xcode just gonna do this once I restart it but um, once I do restart um, Xcode it gonna go away okay so I hope you enjoy and I hope I cover everything you need to know I know this course was uh, this was a bit long but I hope um, it um, cover everything but if I didn't just leave my question and I will do my best to answer thank you